Hey guys, welcome to part 6 of the ultimate walkthrough guide for Darksiders 3 and in the last part we take down Everest and we got to every side area with the Storm Hollow and now we are in the Bonelands and we're going to go to this area and up towards Lust and then the part will end there if everything goes right. So guys, let's get started. So, you probably are stronger now to get this tomb keeper right here without pro any problems so you want to take these guys down and what the fuck dude they're supposed to spawn like two guys there and not like six or something dude what the fuck get out that was weird so what i'm going to do here now is just get these little kids and try to not get hit by the tomb keeper so let's do that So this guy has a lot of health, so it's going to take some while to get this guy down. And uh, there's a there's a fucking soldier right there. Dude. What the fuck is that? Okay, that guy is down. Okay, this attack is not shit. I mostly lost three uh, charges of that attack, so I'm gonna go ham afterwards. Or just does one. Get up. That was easy. Easy enough. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I've already been here because I picked up the uh, core because to uh, get the extra. If Lime were spied, so that's fucking awesome. Okay. I'm not getting this guy. Let's change guy down. Get always done. On the contrary, it may there's a little gap right here where you can fall into. Now at this stage of the game, my game audio glitched out most of the time. So I don't know if it does now. I don't think so, but I hope it doesn't do it because that, that would be shit. That would be fucked up, man. Yeah, probably doesn't, no. So you want to go out behind these containers. And they're going to spawn these guys here. Why are they spawning two guys at the same time? They're supposed to spawn one guy. What the fuck? Dude, my game is broken. Stop spawning, you shit. Okay, this game is getting weird. We get that fragment. Okay, if you're going to hit the big guys, they're going to explode. So, uh, I don't know. Them, I guess. And take the full damage, dude. Is this going to one shot me? No. Cool. So now you want to punch the monster right over there and jump. Onto him, and you can go to the upper level. It's going to be to undead angel knights. These guys are very easy, you know, the smaller versions. Like, they, they block, but they don't really. aren't really a threat, so. I wanna go here to the side and pick this thing up. into this shaft let's go to right because he the item go left I'm just going to heal here there's an item here 
Rapture Shard. You want to jump down in the corner is also uh, also an item. Yeah, do I have enough crystals to level up? Yeah, I think so. Scatter these things. And we're going to level up strength and then health. Okay, there's a lot of enemies here, and you want to help the angels, kind of, because the angels are very weak as fuck, so you want to kill these lesser demonic angels. So, if you do it like that, it should be fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pick this item up by the container, and then I think you have to just go to the monster right here. Just moving to the side. Okay, don't don't hit him that way. Jesus. So if you got him there, you can jump up the platform. Okay, there's going to be a bird or whatever it is on the top. But first, he's going to jump at you, so be careful and be ready to dodge. Okay, these guys can be a problem because they have like a breath attack and you just want to completely avoid this. You will most likely one shot. So don't want to get caught in that. Okay, when you just did jump attack, it is really quick, so getting the timing right should be uh, not that easy. Uh, let's see. Go to the side here first. Pick up this item. There's going to be some features right here. So you want to take them down and then you want to go into the bowling. Okay, first you want to drop into this water right here because there is going to be an item at the bottom right here. Oops. Let's pick that up. There's a human over there. Cannot get to it yet. So when you enter this area, there's going to be an angel here, but angels are really weak. So you can just Unlock them. Out of the way, so the red ones are really strong. Really, you have to be careful of them. Because they're going to have red attacks, which you can't block, so... You just want to stun lock them if you have the chance. So you now have to jump up the ceiling here. So you need this beat to get there. 
And here we go. Be careful for this section because there are going to be a lot of undead angels here. Best to just bait them out 1v1. Two guys, so I thought I could do, use the wrath attack. So there's going to be a core here that increases your maximum healing amount from your Nifline Respite, and that is right over there. But I'm just take down this angel. You want to pick up that core, back it up with the other ones. There's a little area here you can just swing to that. There's going to be this little Y right here again. I'm gonna drop the purple stuff. Whatever that is. Let's destroy the rocks. We're going to be uh, two rocks on the left and the right as well. I want to just take them, but first I'm going to save the human here. And pick the fragment next to it. So for the left one, you just want to quickly jump on this one and then throw the beast on that top right. Thing right there so let's do that we want to throw it on the right side of those rocks because this thing is going to explode in your hands and you don't want that like this and then there's going to be a relic or an artifact now you can use this monster to get across from the water Outside the building. So. Yeah, you can just hit this beast down. Birds, so. That way. It is not really listening to me. Okay, do that, and I'll jump up. Hardly the heavenly outpost that I was expecting. When we go in, we're going in? Keep your mouth shut for a change. Yeah, there go there's going to be a little mini boss right here with the angels, but he is he is not that hard. Mistress, they don't look happy to see us. They shouldn't be. Hordes of heaven, you know who I am, what I am. If you would see the sun set this day, you will feel the burn of heaven's blade. Good. I hate so these are going to be angels, they are really easy to kill. Especially if they stand next to each other because you can just stun lock them both. Be careful that these guys have a range attack, so you want to be careful. But it's really good that they are standing next to each other. Now the knight, the angel knight is going to come. This attacks are really easy to dodge because his weapon is just indicated with blue and blue is really easy to see when he's going to do attack. The 
didn't really know what he was dodged to be side. I never saw him use that shield bash attack. That's nice. Yeah, up to this, this point, you should have no problem dealing with this guy. Or your Kalas, of course. You can use the uh, Havoc form here if you want. Yes. So, after you beat him, you're going to meet uh, Seal. And he's going to give you the Salvation! What is going to be your range attack weapon stuff thingy? Well, it doesn't really do any damage, but you know. You need to complete some puzzles with it, so that's why the game gets. Get these items here in the Angel headquarters. How long is he? Okay. Perhaps your threat will keep him in line. Doubtful. Would you trust him? I'm not the one that has Put the item behind the box. And now for it's gonna be some dialogue with Volgram that he no wants you to sell the uh, salvation or whatever. So it's kind of useless. Ah, we're done then. Those perhaps after my. So, going to buy the uh, four from Fulgrim here because uh, it is just a rejuvenation core, but will increase the amount of health you get restored by your Niflheim respite. What is kind of handy, so. You can just buy this whenever you want, but uh, the souls in the beginning are very limited, so you want to use them mostly early in the game for leveling up, but now it doesn't really matter that much. Because you're strong enough in this area anyway. So there's going to be this power up black enemy with red eyes. So, you want to be careful here. And stun lock this guy. He will block your attacks, so you want to be careful. So that is him down, and get this soul demon right here, because he's going to steal your soul. There you go. I'm gonna use salvation to get this attention. This thing called like a Valkyrie or something. I don't know. Let's go to the side here. We're going to be three guys here, so careful. You want to jump up here with your flame hollow because there is an item here. Let's pick that up. You want to break these right here before the little bugs are going to spawn out of it.
So here is going to be a very useful enhancement. Let's equip this right away. And this will uh, increase the in, in wait, wait, evade invincibility window. What is just handy in general? I mean, it increases your dodges. So. It's always nice. Can't knock this guy off the platform. And he instantly dies. Well, I'm not gonna fight two guys at once, so let's take this guy down with the craft attack. And stun lock this guy. Like that. So you're here. You have to use salvation to get this thing down. And you have to do it again here. Air, that's cool. Okay, these wrath angels, like in this form, they're really easy to kill. They aren't really a threat, but there are going to be wrath angels who are like fully ghosts form or something. I don't know really how to say it, but those guys are really annoying. So here, there's going to be a Doom Keeper, but there's going to be a guy around the corner. So you want to bait him first, because otherwise you need to fight them two on one, and you don't want to do that. First, take that guy down, and then you want to take down the Doom Keeper. Hate that disgusting attack. Oh shit, dude. I'm going to do something. Stop throwing your shit, dude. What the fuck? Spammer. Take that cluster there in the garbage can, because it, do it does give you a lot of... So this guy is going to drop, so you want to just surprise him and knock him down yourself. Like this, and just grab the item here. You want to go to the side here because there's going to be a wrap shard, I think, or an energy shard. Frenzy shard, right? Never use those things, but you know, you can use them if you want. So now you have to get to towards that friendly monster right there, but at first go. Yeah. 
level up here like this this will be fun for both of us as you will level up so i kind of find a glitch to get there without actually the puzzle and you just want to jump up here on these platforms right here then activate your storm hollow and then you just can fly towards the monster like this and then you don't have to do the puzzle pretty cool but we're still going to do the puzzle thing because there are going to be a lot of items there you definitely want to pick up so let's do that So you want to swim down here because there's going to be an item around there. Pick that up. So there is a guy who summons the little creatures on the far back. What is going to be annoying as fuck, but you want to be the uh, one of the big uh, enemy. Kill them one on one. That the angel guy is not really a problem, but just want to focus on this guy because that guy is really annoying. Little prick. So here you want to jump in the air and drop this purple shit and use your. Salvation to get that flaming cocoon right there. I'm going to heal here because it's going to be a warden, and wardens are playing as fuck. These guys have really, really slow winded up attacks, and the indicator of their attacks is really hard to see because it is. The same color their like ghost form is so you cannot really see it and every time he goes down he is just going to swing at you from low after he teleports back that isn't done so jump up here with these Flame Hollow to get this item and drop down. And you want to pick up this little creature and let him eat the purple shit. Right here. Then you want to throw him at those purple stuff. And you want to let him eat stuff again, because there are going to be purple rocks in the back right there, so you want to get there as well. Now, there are guys hanging here, but they're going to be only dropping two guys, and this is one of them, so you want to just get them 1v1. And the guy who is way in the air, yeah, he's also going to fall. Oh. 
So be sure to do that because if you pick up this item, they're going to drop both on one. That can be tricky. For this section, you first want to go to the right, okay? And then go down this shaft. There is an item here, and there is also a wall here for the Stasis Hollow, but there's also a whirlwind for the Storm Hollow, which you cannot really see, but you can use that to get up here so you don't have to use the stasis hollow kind of weird but they put both stuff there but whatever so you definitely want to pick up that piece of uh, adamantine and just fly the section and you want to flame these webs here then we just want to go back Now we're going to go to the left side. And use the flame hollow to get down here. Or uh, get that uh, thing down because otherwise you cannot swing it across. Double. Use your salvation to get that flame cocoon down, or you can just jump at it, but using salvation is much easier. So, you want to go up here, and there's going to be this guy. And I use the salvation just to stun him and just unlock him entirely. And these wrath angels they are really annoying, so. but you can't stun lock them, so that's definitely what you want to do. Get the artifact there. So we just burned the uh, webs right there. So you now you want to swing towards it, kinda. And if you use the storm hollow, it is going to be much easier to get there. No more. No more. Uh. Save the human, I wanted to. And now you can activate this thing. We're not going to use that because... Jump out of here and... Swing to the other part. That, that kind of dealt a lot of damage. So now you are here at the puzzle thing. But you need to activate it again. And walk into it. So you want to use this creature to break those purple rocks there. Uh, 
And there's going to be a purple coon or something like that. So you want to walk up here and just throw it directly at it before it actually explodes in your hands. So you don't have to backtrack later to get it or you just it or miss it, whatever. But the crystals in those purple like dunes or rocks, they give a lot of souls. You definitely want to get those. Okay, now he's just eating shit, so and continue. So here, friendly monster. So you want to just hit him to the other side and jump up. Now you can use this guy to pull up the rocks. Be sure to not to miss because otherwise you need to do it all over again. And move this guy to the right side so you can jump off the platform here. And don't forget to use Gleam Hollow Jump. That is how you beat the puzzle normally, but if you use the glitch, you can already go to last anyway. There's going to be a Wrath Angel here and a, like a normal Wrath Angel. They're very annoying, so when it Take them down one by one. So this part is actually taking a lot of... It's to get to lust anyway. So we're almost there. But I definitely want to beat it. Because then the part is just like a whole... Guys with rangers, so what are they even throwing? Like, what, what is that? There's going to be a Valkyrie here. down it's going to be a red cocoon there so you want to burn it but this part is really taking long i'm just going to end it right before boss of yeah. what would you add this will be as you will uh, so go through sure this Shaft here, and there's right a human to your left, so not forget this guy. Go down here, and there's going to be a red cocoon. Get the crystal out of it. Uh, uh, let's see here on the left side there's going to be a hidden shaft so you want to get through here and there's going to be a black enemy with right ice so 
You know what's this? This is stun locking combo. So stun lock this guy until he dies. Yes. Not sure that he should drop a material, but I don't know. Doesn't. Doesn't. So there are going to be two angels here, so you just want to bait them one on one. Don't do what I do. Okay, now I just fucked myself over right here. Let's stun lock this guy. I'm on this container because there's going to be a crystal there. And this is the shortcut. The other checkpoint, which don't really need it. But that angel is going to be smashed by Glutiny. Okay, Glutiny is getting weird. Get this demon hit. So there's a big hole here on the right where you can go into, but they're going to be doing some bugs by it, so you wanna first all patience quickly take them down. Yes. And get the artifact. And then jump down. Okay, for this. You first want to get on these containers here and take down the guy who summons the little monsters. Uh, There's an undying shard here. Can you come over this? This guy hits you through the, uh, through the fence if you want to look out. So you want to be careful for the big guy when the uh, little small guys are still around. So you want to take out down the two smaller enemies and then just focus the guy. Wow, he's going to do the work arm attack again. Okay, I did the dodging way too early. That's basically a short. I don't know why in here, but because Glutiny is going to grab you. It, oh yeah, because you can die here. Obviously. Whip your salvation, and you want to lock on to his four eyes. Go it. And then you want to walk to the right side. Come on. Do it. That one of the seven? Perhaps. One could have changed since our last encounter. Take these two enemies down. There's an item there. And you, and you can activate the shortcut here.
But guys, I'm first going I'm going to upgrade my stuff now and go back to the Maven Forge or the Maker's Forge. And then I will end the part right there because it is already like 25, 45 minutes. If you're like level 40, you should. Loss should be no problem. And now we're even going to upgrade our stuff, so we're going to be stronger even more for Lust. So he's definitely not going to be a problem. Get more passive bonuses. Sincere, and you want to upgrade. Yep. Bossy. Beans. And you can upgrade to Salvation. Because he. This thing will at least do some, some damage. Don't forget to upgrade your enhancements. And first, want to go for Juggernaut. But I don't really have enough a artifacts. Yeah, you want to upgrade this with the uh, angel path because you're going to have damage reduction. That is really good game. At least at this difficulty, anyway. And uh, humans you saved, you gain extra wrath from the. Now I'm going to go back to Lust and I will end the part right there. This loading screen is taking very long. Okay, nice. So I'm going to end the part right here, guys. So in the next part, it's going to be Lust. And it is going to be uh, going to the Forest Hollow route to get all side areas with the Forest Hollow. So you get more items and you can level up more. But guys, this is the end of the part. And I thank you for watching. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're also new here... And you can subscribe to the channel and the bell so you don't miss anything. But guys, I wish you an awesome day and I catch you guys next time.